Okay. Welcome to Subnautica. And I'm going to start a new game. Oh, no. I want to play normal. This will be my first time playing it. So I'm really excited. I've never played the game. I've watched lots of Let's Plays. So I know the general idea. I know the story. But it'll be completely new and fresh for me. And I won't... I don't really know how to do all the farming stuff, but I guess I'll learn. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. I am on PS4. Yeah, I'm hoping... I, I, I'm hoping it's not too bad to play on PS4, but my PC would not handle any games other than like really simple ones like Not Tonight and stuff. So it was free for PS4 uh, last month for the Days of Play or whatever, or the free to play, the thing they did for COVID. Uh, so I'm really hoping that this will be okay. We'll see how it goes. I'm hoping I can play the whole game via stream, probably upload some of it on YouTube. And then, um, yeah, we'll see. Attention. See, also the other reason I played, um, Resident Evil 7, because I wanted to get used to playing, like, a first-person game. That's okay! <laughs> I appreciate you stopping by no matter what. <laughs> Even for a minute. Here we go. Woo! Ouch. <laughs> Hoping my cam in the corner, because I can see it on my screen, doesn't block anything for me. I don't think it will. <laughs> Seeing as I've never played it on anything else other than PS4, it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, R2? Oh, R2. Okay. Okay, okay. So far, pretty standard. Yeah, so far this is kind of like standard controls. Altera. Altera. Anybody else think that Altera was like a society and not a company? Because I did, until, uh... Outcome. Below Zero came out. PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please I appreciate that. To the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Okay, so it's just my touch screen. Oh, nice. Ooh. Frame rate's a little shitty. Uh. Okay, so. Again, really standard. Very standard. Uh. And I've never tried playing anything... Oh, so it does show me, like, a picture of it. Okay, that's cool. Uh, well, let's go ahead and, um... Head out. Oh, oh that's cool. The Aurora suffered orbital pile failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. Perfect. I can't get sick. <laughs> or so I think. <laughs> no. Okay. All right. Well, let's. We getting your feet wet. Okay. Okay. So. Yeah, my frame rate's a little choppy, but I kind of expected that, to be honest. Okay, so it's pretty standard. It's going to get used to, get be hard to get used to, like, the idea of, like, uh, going up and down with, like, this. Man, I don't get to stay up very much. Climb ladder. Okay. 
Oh, I need to use a repair tool. Okay, so I guess that's the first thing I should do, maybe? I'll go ahead and grab one of these. Yeah. So let's go ahead and um, figure out how to make something then, I guess. Uh, resources? Electronics? Okay, so that's water, per oh, equipment. That's probably what I want. Standard O2, fins, first aid kit, fire extinguisher, pipe, floating air pump, tools, there we go. Scanner, repair tool, silicone rubber, cave sulfur, titanium. Well, I guess first thing I should just do is um grab some materials. <laughs> Writhing weed? Can I do anything with it? Nope. Yeah, I don't know much about, like, the farming aspect of this game, so that's gonna be very weird. Oh, pick up acid mushroom? Oh, it's an egg. Oh, okay, I don't really care about that at all. The trigger buttons? Uh... Oh, you're right! Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That is better. Nice. Oh, it's acid mushrooms. I don't know what that does. I'm a little concerned. Oh, I'm kind of hungry, aren't I? So, let's go ahead and grab a bladder fish. Ooh, nope. Come back here. I, I saw you. Or just a fish. I can't grab you. Peeper, peeper, come here. Gotcha. Alright, so let's, um, let's cook ya. While disposing of the skeletal structure, bodily fluids, and internal organs, thus rendering them safe for human consumption. Okay. So that's good. So let's get out of that. And we will eat Mr. Peeper. Nice. We have made our first meal. Better get used to seafood. So let's just go, uh, let's just do some farming, I guess. Seems like a good idea. What's this? Grab, tra oh, okay, it's a fragment. So I need to get a scanner for that. I don't know if I need those acid mushrooms for anything. What's this? Anything? Beacon frag. Uh, excuse me. Ah! Whoops. <laughs> I heard him coming, but I did not know where from. <laughs> yeah, I know. Wouldn't it be awful to be, like, on a abandoned or on a ocean planet and being like, I have a sea, I have a fish allergy or a shellfish allergy. <laughs> uh... My boyfriend would actually be in trouble because he is actually allergic to iodine. Okay. I don't, I don't need to hold anything. I guess I can't just put it away. I want that bladder fish because I know it gives me water, right? New creature discovered. Oxygen. Alien life forms may have unexpected applications. Utilizing alien resources is a proven survival strategy. Bladderfish. There we go. Uh, let me look at the fabricator. What items do I need for 
So it's saying tools. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, I don't really care about that. So let's go ahead. I've got some titanium. I need some silicone rubber to make a knife. That's a good thing to probably get. Oxygen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be hearing that a lot, aren't I? Detecting increased local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core sustained during Planet Four. Okay, so acid mushrooms are good for recipes. It's good to know. Yeah, yeah, I'll be glad. It's going to take me a little while to get the hang of this. This is definitely not going to be like Resident Evil, where I am full on doing really exciting things every stream. It'll be a lot of me just exploring. I don't like it being dark. I mean, it's pretty. It really is very pretty. I think in Subnautica Below Zero, they made it where you can tell like what items you need more. Um, like you can pin them, which is really nice, but that's okay. I, I have this one. And I want to play the first one first, so. Oh my gosh. Uh... I do need... Yeah, I hear you. Oh no, I died! <laughs> wow, that was such an easy like way to die. Gosh, I didn't even die in Resident Evil. <laughs> Oh well. You died and lost some, some belongings. Like what? Uh, okay. I, I don't think I really lost anything. That's okay. It's all learning experience. So let's go ahead and shove... Oh, I have some like stuff in here. Cool, cool. Um, oh man. I'm... Let's go ahead and eat that. Okay, so cooking, getting a lot of fish to cook is not a good idea. I'm gonna put that. How do I put stuff away? No. Oh, R2. Got it, got it. Creature egg. I'll keep that on me. Okay. Well, that's okay. <laughs> Man, they, like, take you out fast if you're not careful, huh? Again, no big deal. I'm finding lots and lots of quartz, which is good. I have no idea where those, um... Those fish were at. Those boom fish. Because I do need... Oh, right there. Got it. Oh, that's gonna go really deep. I probably shouldn't go there until I have, like, better tools. Oh, yeah, you can cure them, can't you? Like you do with salt. Okay. That makes sense. The thing is, is that, like, most Let's Players, you know, um, YouTube Let's Plays, not Twitch, uh, they don't show all this stuff. It's always just like the story or like the really exciting parts where oh, something came up. Oh, okay. Um, which I totally understand and I, I can see why. Because, you know, unless you're just hanging out and you just want to get to the meat of the game, this would be kind of like not that fun to watch. Oh. Can I not pick that up? Come on. Here we go. <laughs> uh, what else? Kind of finding some more items now that I'm actually looking a little bit better. We'll kind of go until it gets dark again and I'll go back to my... Uh, I'll go back to Henry and um, get, make some stuff. 
Oh, okay, yeah, good, good point. Yeah, I only knew about the sulfur because I can't remember if it was Sean or Gab who said it out loud, um, but it was like, oh, that makes so much sense because, you know, they're little, little boomfish. Get this sulfur. So there you go. <laughs> I'm glad that I was able to help somebody else with that because I wouldn't have known had it not been for other Let's Plays and everything. There's a lot of good stuff in this cave. Let's go on this side and then kind of go down. <laughs> My ADHD doesn't allow me to like look very long at something. I'm too busy like looking around at everything. Oh god, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. And um. So I'm missing, like, a lot of, like, things that I probably ought to be picking up. Oh, no, we're not going that way. We are staying in this general area where I... I keep on going through this cave over and over again. Where I don't feel like I'm going to die. <laughs> I can't believe I died within the first, like, 20 minutes of playing. <laughs> it's pretty sad whenever I died in Subnautica, but I never once died in Resident Evil 7. I'll be at, I had Resident Evil 7 on easy, and I have this on normal, but I didn't feel like... I don't know. I didn't want to do, like, easy on this game. I feel like that's... Maybe if I was doing creative mode. Yeah, I need a knife to do the creep vines, I think. It's a creature egg. Ooh, lead. Okay. Go. Oh, nice. I'm basically just going to explore here until I kind of feel like I have enough stuff to maybe go back to making something. I don't know. I will say my boyfriend, like, really, really wants me to, like... Why do I hear something scary? Oh, because there is something scary. Don't hurt me. Got it. <laughs> hey, even if you're learning and you tell me one tip, you have helped me out a ton. Because other than, like the actual story of the game and the knowing what the creatures are and what they can do. I know nothing about like scavenging. I know nothing about the um, like making things because like I said, everything I've ever watched, it's always taken out. So this is so helpful. Okay, I'm feeling a little less like freaked out now that I'm getting a little bit better hang of the controls and finding things. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Up. Oxygen. <laughs> I don't care about oxygen. Well, I do, but I don't want to hear you telling me about the oxygen. Yet if it didn't tell me, I would complain, so I guess there you are. Caution. Continued degradation of the auroras. Drive cool. May result in Ooh. Are we going to see it blow up? We might see it blow up today. I hope so. That'd be fun. Let's see. Yeah, there's creep vines. Oh, I don't like swimming so close to it, though. Also, it seems like nighttime loss lasts a lot less, uh, longer than I thought. Ugh, if this was real, like, if I actually was, like, if I was actually, like, in this guy's situation where I was in the ocean, in a big open ocean, no other people, and... <laughs> Life just... on this planet grows in unusually distinct and diverse ecological biomes further study recommended. Okay. 
Wait till I get some... I think those guys might hurt me, but they don't seem too concerned with my existence. Okay, that was a little hole I went in earlier and got the gold, which was nice. Okay, it's getting dark, so let's let's see if I can make anything. I did pick up a bunch of stuff. Hey, okay. So, oh, it looks like I can. Equipment, tools. What can I make? A flare. <laughs> uh, okay. So what do I need for the repair tool? Okay, I got the cave sulfur, silicone rubber. I think I need to make something for that. Resources, basic materials. Yeah, there we go. How many do I need for that? Oh, just the one, sweet. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, I do have the Nutrigrain bar thingies on me, so I, I'm just gonna use them. Uh, I do have water and that on me though, so I'm okay at the moment, uh, as long as I pay attention. Okay, now I have this, so I can, how do I do it? Oh, okay, R2. Life secondary systems online. Yay! Full environment diagnostic and outputting results to data bank. 4546 B environmental scan. Radio this is a distress signal received. Rescue operation will be dispatched to your location in nine. Nine, <laughs> nine, nine, nine hours. Continue to monitor for emergency transmissions from other life pods. Okay. Thanks. Is everything else good in here? I think so. I think that was the only things I need to fix. Main power, solar power cells. Okay. I'm gonna grab one of you again. Uh. Oh. Okay. So. I got a lot of cool stuff out there. So let's see what else I can make. Fabricator. I can make a bunch of resources, but let's see what I could use. Equipment. Oh, standard O tank. O2 tank. Nice. Hell yeah. <laughs> things are happening, y'all. <laughs> We're accomplishing stuff and things. Um, floating device pumps air into pipes acts as a starting point for a pipe chain. I don't think I need that right now. So, to get fins, silicone rubber, so I can make that. Yay! We can make fins now! <laughs> The fabricator draws from available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. Okay, so they are good. They're already equipped and warming. Sweet. I'm feeling accomplished just because I have actually gotten that much done. <laughs> uh, any other equipment? Okay, I've already made the fins. A high capacity O2 tank, so I need glass titanium and silver ore. I don't think I have any silver ore. But let's go ahead and make glass and lubricant. Okay. Any other tools I can make? Oh, survival knife. There we go. Yes. Yes, Weapons I'm... Were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. <laughs> the knife remains the only exception. I appreciate it. <laughs> Uh, flashlight to make battery to make battery how to make a battery let's see what if I can figure that out yeah, okay I need batteries for both of those does this tell me how to make batteries that's bleach titanium I assume it's gonna be oh right here oh acid mushrooms as you mentioned Neko all right so let's get the acid mushroom out Uh, can I, 
I need more. I do. Okay, so I need to go get a bunch of massive mushrooms. I could do that. Probably gonna need a lot of batteries, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up a bunch. So yes, my first goal is kind of getting all these tools all made up. Um, and then making like the Seamoth and all those cool guys. <laughs> New blueprint acquired. And you know, as we go, we'll explore and we'll get the story going. Oh, no, I wanted this. Scan armor. The scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to accord alien biological data. Nice. Yes, I feel... I feel good. <laughs> Self-scan. Self-scan complete. Vital signs normal. Continuing to monitor. Okay, so I know we saw some, like, items chilling out down here that I can possibly scan. And now I won't be running out of uh, stuff constantly. Oh, right here. Okay. <laughs> you can hear my O2 tank. <laughs> That's fun. I guess it wouldn't hurt to, like, scan a bunch of things, because I, I think it'll give me, like, more recipes and information. I don't feel like I really need to read about that. <laughs> okay, I can't scan that. Beacon Fragment. There we go. Beacon Fragment. Yay! Got a Beacon Fragment. You jerk. And also I can do this. Oxygen. Whee. Okay, nice. Music in this is good. Anything else I can scan? Oh yeah, these guys over here. Grab trap. Soccer. Give me a look. Nobody asked you for your opinion on what I was doing. Admittedly, the stalkers should probably scare me, but they don't. Oh. Can I... I can scan that. Oh, sea glide! Yeah, 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 yeah. Wonder where else the sea glide stuff is at. So, if I were Sea Glide stuff, where would I be? I want to scan you. I was curious. <laughs> My health. Yeah, probably will. I might just go up. I'm actually genuinely. So I'm moving life form and one of the larger herbivores in the planet. Substantial meal would be would be to predators. Um, gas, gastropod protects itself with the poisonous and corrosive pods, which contents dissolve even synthetic fibers. Thick, non-reactive skin, multiple gills, algae gland. Okay, that's kind of fun. It'd be kind of fun to just read that on my own. Builder tool would be nice. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, do I have the blueprint for that yet? Habitat builder. So I need a computer chip, wiring kit, and battery. So I know how to make that. Yeah, it's definitely a learning process. But that's okay, it's fun. Because I'll be honest, like, 
even though I love playing Resident Evil 1, there's other games I really legitimately enjoy. Um, Local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's drive core has reached critical state. Quantum detonation will occur within two hours. Yeah! We're gonna get to see it today. Um... Yay! Yeah, we got the sea glide now, so that'll be a good thing to have. Oh! <laughs> Cup creep. It even tells me, like, hello, over here, please. Am I getting anything? What did that do? I don't know if I grabbed anything. Oh, my inventory's full. Oh! Uh, I need to heal. Let's get up here. Let's get oxygen. Okay. And... That's why I'm not getting anything. Okay. So, actually, let's do that. And that. And... Let's go back to Henry. Oh, an eclipse! Very cool. Okay. What can we make? So I wanted to make the sea glide battery, lubricant, and copper wire. I can do that. So, lubricant. Lubricant is essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. And now, sea glide. Nice. The sea glide will increase your effective exploration range. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. Congratulations, survivor. You have exceeded your weekly exercise <laughs> quotient by 500%. Data indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. Be sure to vary your routine for uniform muscle development. Thanks. Receiving pre-recorded distress call laying back. This is LifePod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. <laughs> three out. Sea Try not. Location uploaded to PDA. Okay, cool. So I can use that. So I need the table coral, and what was it, gold? And copper line. I don't think I had any more copper ore, so I need to make... Oh, I need two cable uh, and the copper wire. Okay, I need more copper ore and uh, what was the other thing? Table coral. I don't need any table coral. Let's go ahead and drink some water. Might not be hurt for me to go ahead and just drink both those waters and then get some more bladder fish. Oh my god, that sounds terrifying. Yay, sea glide! Oh my gosh, I go so much faster! All oh, this is awesome. I'm probably gonna miss so much because I'm gonna be going around like crazy. Um. <laughs> oh, okay, so there we go. So that's a good point to make. Um, I can go ahead and go that way at some point. I don't think today is gonna be that day. Today was just literally, let's get started, let's figure out what the heck I'm doing. Oh, it has a flashlight. Nice. This is going to make it too easy for me to get really far away from Henry, though. So I was looking for copper ore, which is in limestone. Uh, does this... Can I scan this for anything? Nope. And also needed some more... Oh, let's go ahead and scan this. Oxygen. One second. Alright. 
right. Uh, bladderfish, bladderfish, bladderfish. And there might be some bits that I play on my own, just because, you know, I'm sure you guys don't want to watch me farming all day. We'll see, though. Some what a if I know anything, I know water will be my main source of like health, so we don't want to run out of that anytime soon. Yes, very soon. I think I might just hang out up here <laughs> while, um, while I wait. Here we go! Yay! Wow! A quantum detonation has occurred in the Fireworks! Drive core. The reactor will reach a supercritical state. In T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Three, two. Boom! Nice! That's fun. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. <laughs> By the way, radiation suit. Appreciate that. <laughs> the radiation suit has been added to your blueprint database. Okay, good. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Then I, you know, wouldn't need a battery. I just need to remember to keep batteries made, uh, which now I know that's what those uh, poisonous thingies are for. Uh, so what do I need for the radiation suit? Lead line suit providing insulation, fiber mesh, and lead. Okay, I picked up some lead. So fiber mesh. How do I make fiber mesh? I don't know. New blueprint acquired. Okay. So what did that give me? New blueprint acquired. Pathfinder tool, maybe? Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, deploys holographic pathfinder disc used to map back to caves or to navigate spaces. Max 20 discs per path. Okay. Good to know. Uh. Nice. From the samples. Okay, so I just need to start smacking things, huh? <laughs> uh. So. Let's just do that then. Let's smack some stuff. does oh it's poisonous because i'm dumb oh my gosh oh my gosh i am almost dead do i even have a health pack on me i do i do i do Ooh. note to self don't smack the poisonous things okay that's that what else can i smack I don't know what I'm picking up, but I'm picking up things. Pick up some water. Fiber mesh. Yeah, yeah, fiber mesh. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. I wonder what I smack to get that. Shoot. Yeah, I need to get back to my... Okay. <laughs> so, since I decided to, like, almost get myself killed there for a second. Vein nettle seed. Don't know. 
definitely going to Google a little bit tonight and see what I can um, figure out. Decomposing. Oh, well, what can I make with it then? Where's my... Oh, fiber mesh. Yes, yes, you're right. Thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm telling you, ADHD. <laughs> I don't need to make that, but I will get another health thing. And what was I wanting that for? My suit. So I need fiber mesh times two, then the lead. You are saving my ass. <laughs> uh, do I only have the one? Okay, so I need two of those. I'm gonna need like a, a locker soon. I have a feeling. I'm not using the sea glide right now because I feel like I'm just gonna like fly right by things if I do. I don't know if I have enough to do it yet. Uh, I think I needed two. Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and end today's stream. Um, shoot. <laughs> and not get killed. Um, so that way I can kind of look a little bit on what I probably need to know. Like look up a video like, things you should know before playing Subnautica. Um, just for the sake of going. And then, also, I have to get ready to go. And also, I need to make a phone call. Uh, anything else here I can pick up? Inventory full. Okay, fair enough. Okay, yeah, that'll be good. So I'm going to go up in the back into Henry and um, end today's stream. Alrighty, I really appreciate you guys hanging out, um, and thank you so much for all the help. It's, like, so appreciated. Uh, I'm planning on streaming tomorrow evening, I'm hoping. I, I have a lot going on tomorrow, but I'm gonna be home in the evening, and I do plan on, like, streaming for at least an hour or two. But that'll be all for the week, because I have a big, I have a wedding coming up. Not mine, a, a friend's. And I'm gonna go on, go on for that most of the week and weekend but anyway i'll see you all tomorrow and uh, glad you're here and i had a lot of fun bye